Y'all better tighten up. Yeah, I'm tightened up. <laughs> Y'all better tighten up. What's up, guys? John here. Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. Titan Lifestyle is Friday. I'm here with John. I'm ready to do it. Great weekend ahead. Great lifestyle show ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Always. Always, always, always. And you know what? This show is always good because I know it's Friday at that point. We've got the weekend coming. Yeah. You know, and I don't think we have any events, Titan events, but i got a full pack schedule. But at least it's the weekend and Friday yeah. is here. So it's exciting for that, you know, at least. Yeah, lifestyle on a Monday just didn't, wouldn't sound right. Wouldn't nah. sound right. Got to get you guys ready for the weekend, send the positive vibes going through the weekend. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we want to make sure you guys are in tune to what's going on around you guys and with Titan. So let's get it off. Let's start this bad boy off and get on the first subject today, our ECA Stack Plus Therapy of the Week. So... ECA Stack Plus, ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, that's been used for a long time as a combination for weight loss, fat burning, um, but adding the B12 and chromium makes it the Stack Plus. So with these five ingredients, ephedrine, caffeine, going to be great for energy, concentration, weight loss, uh, core temperature rising, aspirin is going to help thin the blood just a little bit, it's only 30 milligrams, very light uh, dose, also B12 and chromium, helping you guys boost the metabolism naturally aiding with weight loss amongst another uh, other things so it's utilized by everybody for males and females as long as you don't have heart conditions or some other issues or medication uh counterindications because there are a couple out there but majority of people can use this and majority of people do it's an oral yeah. therapy it's very simple very easy to use. I've, I've been using it for a few months now and i love it uh, i get like i like you said in my like i've said in my past videos I don't notice unless I don't take it. That's yeah. when I start getting a little soft and holding water and stuff, you know. I'm like, man, I need to start, make sure I take my ECA. But yeah. If you guys have seen me lean out, yes, it's because of my diet, but the ECA has helped tremendous. If I stop taking the ECA, I, I, I notice little differences. Yeah. You guys may not see it. Everyone's body is different. Absolutely. But um, the ECA has definitely helped me a lot. I'm getting so many people emails and messages because they see me leaning out. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's pretty simple. I'm doing mm -hmm. my HRT through Titan mm -hmm. and my ECA, and I cleaned up my diet. I mean, mm -hmm. it's pretty simple. Other stuff, too, like Titan Complete and all that, but, I mean, the ECA is the main, main, quote-unquote, fat burner, if you want to put it in that category, for me. That, uh, that's keeping me ripped up and keep me in great mood. Absolutely. <laughs> so keeps I mean, me energized, too, all day. So. It's, it's yeah. great for, for natural energy. So, I mean, whether you're working a, a long job all day and you got to be on point, yeah. mind-wise, everything, a lot of that, or you can take it, you know, as your pre-workout, per se, as your yeah. energy. Yeah. If you're looking for energy and stuff like that, you don't got to take yeah. any energy drinks or any of this other garbage that you guys might be putting in your bodies that has yeah. all these other things in it or overdosing on caffeine like we were talking about last week yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, you don't need that much caffeine. That's the reason why the ECA is plus. It has other stuff, the federal caffeine aspirin plus other stuff in it as opposed to just four or five hundred milligrams of straight caffeine yeah. which yeah. isn't healthy and it's not going to really do what it's supposed to be doing yeah no so it's going to get you amped up and then you're going to crash and yeah. your muscles aren't going to get any benefit from it absolutely you know, the b12 and the eca is a whole nother I mean, we could do a whole nother show on just b12 alone the benefits absolutely. of b12 so absolutely yeah. so i mean they're getting all these different great things in there and like i said you don't have to put it in the garbage in your body and you're not going to get nauseous off it jitters heart palpitations um, you're going to get nice, good, clean energy that's not going to make you feel sick, and you're going to have a great workout or strenuous activity or just getting through your day if you have a long day. Um, like, you know, today, started at 6 a.m., I got to go, I'm going at least till 2 a.m. tonight, which I have meetings and I have other things going on afterwards, so I know it's going to be a long day for me. So I know, you know, I take one ACA in the morning, um, and it just all depends. You know, I, I switch up my doses just to keep mm -hmm. my body guessing a little bit because we have different doses for patients. So at that point, I take it. I'm ready to rock and roll all day. It helps me stay lean. Uh, it helps me keep my point, and I don't have to. I know exactly what I'm putting in my body. We were talking right. about this kind of beforehand, um, just knowing exactly what it is, whether it's you know condiments or your food or, right. or whatever it is. You, you know the drinks or, or you know powders or whatever you're putting in. So you, you guys should definitely know exactly what you guys are putting in your body. So. ECA stack plus and also what he said too about the ECA is that you know different patients take different doses your doctor correct. tried different doses That's we right. had someone call call a few weeks back that had a, a sensitivity to caffeine so the yeah. the doctor is well aware of that they could pull that out of there Absolutely. or you know or pull the B12 I don't yep. know why they would but I mean 
they could pull certain ingredients out too, so it doesn't have to be as is. Right. It's geared, it's structured for you. Right. You know, it's made for you. So if it's something in there that you don't like, just let your doctor know, and you know, you can discuss it. And he can tell you if it's good or bad for you. Take it out, whatever. But you're not. It's not one of those situations where, oh, I don't like aspirin. I'm not taking aspirin, so I'm not going to do the ECA. Right. Or I don't like caffeine, so I'm not going to do the ECA. Right. It would basically be an EA plus if you yeah. take the caffeine out of it, yeah. or EC plus if you take the aspirin out of it. Yeah. So we could still do it. Just we'll take one of the things out of it and make it work for you guys. Absolutely. So you know, you guys on Instagram, if you guys are just tuning in right now, we're talking about ECA Stack Plus. Had to go live because we we're having issues uh, with the program. But I want to make sure you guys were involved in this. So ECA Stack Plus, Therapy of the Week, great for fat burning, weight loss, concentration, um, boost of the natural metabolism. You know, like he was talking about methyl B12s in there. It's the most bioavailable B12 there is. Um, at that point, you guys will get a lot of great benefits from it. And you guys don't have to put a whole bunch of junk in your body. Um, and you guys can take this daily, pretty much. Yep. And the ephedrine in it. So I get this question all the time. Is this real ephedrine? HCL. Yes, it is. It's prescribed, and it comes from a U.S. licensed pharmacy. That's the only way you can get it. You cannot get it over the counter. This isn't a, a Fedrin bark or extract or all these other different things that you know that over the counter supplements use and try to play the name off of Fedrin. Um, and ephedra. Uh, yeah, ephedra uh, and ephedrine. Yeah, there's a yeah. difference. Yeah, so you'll see ones D R A D R I N E D R I N D R E N. Yep. There's a whole bunch of different ways. Make sure yep. the spelling is exactly what it's supposed to be. Absolutely. Our stuff comes from a pharmacy. It's real ephedra. And the way they do that is just different molecules are switching them out because yeah. they're legal to do that. It's, it's just really crazy. Yeah. And they're smart as chemists or as a company, but it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, I'd like more info about type of THT. Are you talking about HRT? Testosterone hormone therapy? I don't know what that stands for. Just let me Testosterone know. Testosterone replacement therapy? It didn't say TRT, but what I think T that's what he means. Okay. Uh, is this for 55 year old men who is taking tested? Yes. So, fiber 911, anybody can take this, uh, male or female, it doesn't matter your age, just as long as health history is okay. You know, obviously, health should be number one priority to you guys in any of the therapies, and it is to us, no matter what. So at that point, we're going to make sure that the medical providers are going to make sure that your family history, your health history, all lines up with the therapies you can take, and then it's safe for you guys to take, yeah. um, and you guys aren't having any problems or not going to have any other issues with counterintrications to medications. And with the aspirin, too, it's not the same milligram doses as a standard aspirin that you would right. take. So you're not basically taking an aspirin every day because... I you know, I hear things, people are like, I don't need to take aspirin every yeah. single day. I don't need that much. That's yeah. the reason why we don't put that much in right. it. Baby aspirin's only 81 milligrams, and right. that's safe for a baby to take. Right. Ours is, you know, it's, it's 30, low. It's, it's even lower than milligrams. that. So, I mean, it's safe for, it's safe for pretty much daily everybody use. to take. You know, it's daily use, so it's not just about just, you know, taking it, you know, yes. and not knowing what you're putting in your body. Yes. I mean, these doses are, are, are good for you guys daily. Yeah. Um, obviously, pharmacists are putting this together, too, as well, so they want to make yeah. sure that you guys are going to get a good effect without hurting you guys too as well. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to be taking a, a regular aspirin every day at a, no. at a regular doses no. unless you really needed it for something. But no, the only one they recommend for that is is an 81 milligram dose. Baby aspirin, dose yeah. For people who usually have heart conditions and stuff like right. that, um, blood flow issues. Yeah, this is less than half of a yeah. baby aspirin, yeah, so the aspirin milligrams. effect is very, very low. Nothing crazy. Yeah, Nothing just crazy enough to get that blood moving. How you guys doing for you guys that join us on Instagram, Facebook? Thank you guys. All right, so testosterone replacement therapy. So Fiber 911 asks us about testosterone replacement therapy. What questions do you have in particular? Um, I can go over a, a million different things on, on testosterone hormone replacement therapy. Just shoot me out some questions of what you guys got. Can you take Cialis to help with overall circulation? So yeah, so Cialis or Tadalafil, we offer that. Um, basically, it's a vasodilator as far as blood flow. It's going to help with blood flow, um, specifically with Cialis. Um, it's good for BHRT too, so prostate issues. Um, it, it definitely can help blood pressure. Blood that, that's another one too. Blood pressure. So you know, there's a, a number of different positives with taking you know daily Cialis if if you need to, or stuff like that. Now, if you're looking for really good blood circulation, arginine and L-citrulline, which are in Hercules Potion or Super Titan, yeah. those are main vasodilators. Yeah. They're going to increase blood flow, oxygen to the muscles, circulation. Um, they're really really good, especially for cardiovascular issues too as well. So, and they're amino acids, so they're building blocks of protein. We were talking about this the other day, me and Art. Um, you know, and, and they're, they're, you're, they're needed, and they're going to help you out tremendously. And that's just two ingredients in Hercules Potion that you're going to see immediate gratification from. Yeah. So, really, really good question there. All right, so let's get into one of these, and we'll go back to fiber if you can come up with a question of what he wants exactly on TRT. Because I can talk about, you know, why you need it, what you need it, and how it is, and how we go through the process. 
Um, Joe Anthony, you want to do TRT. So the first question I have to ask you is, because I've seen five was 911 is like 55, mm -hmm. but 30 years old. Have you had um, a blood test first to see where your testosterone free and total levels are at? Answer me back. All right. Uh, Android Aesthetic says, I take Hercules Potion. So why don't you let everybody know, what, what do you think about Hercules Potion? Because usually that, that's like a game changer for us. Yeah. What, right? do you, what do you like most about it and where are you using it? Like what spot great, do you actually use it Great pump. To? Great pump. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's the first thing you're going to notice with Hercules Potion, the instant gratification. Everybody wants instant gratification, right? They want it to work right away. They want to feel it. They want to know what is this going to do to me. So that's the immediate effect, I would yeah. think. The vasodilation, the pump and everything like that, the lasting pump. But after that, what, what's really going on inside? So we're talking about glutamines in there too as well. So recovery should help. Lysine's building the immune system because you're putting stress on the, on the body and the immune system. Uh, NAC for liver functions. Proline for collagen, so lubricating the joints. L-carnitine, weight loss, a number of different benefits there. Um, ornithine. Is a huge one with this, and this is one that you will notice when I tell you this. And if you take Hercules Potion, you might notice this. That if you take it, you should be able to do extra sets or longer workouts in the gym or yeah. more strenuous activity. And that's ornithine at, at work right there. And those things combined together, all, all those ingredients, should give you a way better effect, should let you enhance your performance and whatever you guys are doing out there. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times people attribute their workout and having a good workout is to being mentally like they felt it, they were oh, in a good mood, they had a, a rush a the one. whole workout. Mind and muscle contraction. Um, yeah, mind and muscle. So I mean, a lot of that's times they, they they don't, they really only have that mental. They can only think of, oh, I had a great yeah. workout, I felt good mentally. Yeah. But does your body feel good? You yeah. know that. He just brought that up. That, Greatest pump used on any muscle lacking mind and muscle contact exactly. connection contraction. Exactly. When you could when you could fuse that, I mean that's. Kai Green's like a legend at that. Yeah. If you can get him to go both at the same time, it's like... Yeah, it's huge. It's night and day. Night huge. And day. You can kill huge. two birds with one stone. With it's that. awesome. Yeah. It's definitely awesome. Big shout to Antonio, Titan man. What's going on? Team Titan in the house. Uh, Android said, definitely, yeah, for sure. So it is what it is. It's definitely a good one. Um, as far as that Hercules Potion, if you combine ECAs and Hercules Potion, that is your pre-workout as far as mm -hmm. stimulant-wise, Pump wise, working out longer, you know, recovery, all that good stuff. You mix those two together. As far as that goes, you've got a winning combination. Yeah. Um, all right. So the first one. We got went, some crazy topics. There's some crazy ones. You got some Halloween theme. I don't know, yes, but crazy yes. topics. Yes, yes, yes. Um, all right. So, Fiber, I'll get right back to your question. Your question includes: Is this a combo of tests? We'll talk about that in a second. All right, so a woman accused of cutting baby out of pregnant friend lied to law enforcement. Yeah. Wow. Um, pretty simple. Uh, the lady, I believe she's from Oklahoma. I'm not sure how she connected with this woman in Texas, but she basically went to Texas. There was a woman who was about to have a baby, eight months pregnant. She basically killed a woman, cut the baby out of her, <sighs> drove home, and then while she was driving home, she got pulled over. She told the officer or state trooper, whoever pulled her over, I just had this baby oh. on the side of the road. I'm trying to get to the hospital. The officer could clearly right. see that she didn't just have the baby. They right. investigated. They were trying to figure out where the baby came from. Oh, and then next thing God. you know, come to find out, they found a butchered woman in Texas, a pregnant butcher woman in Texas. Whoa. So basically this woman, I don't know. I don't know if she could have kids. She couldn't have kids. Wow. I don't know what the situation was, but basically she went there to take the kill this wow. woman and take her baby out and basically try to raise it as her own. I mean, people people are desperate, when it, you know, especially women yeah. in fertility and stuff like that. You know, if they can't have babies... Something's happened, they see something, they get jealous of, whatever it is, or they, yeah. they want that. You know, some people are they I mean adopt. Don't do anything. I mean you could adopt, you could you could <laughs> Woo! I don't know. Could, that's pretty serious. Yeah. Definitely pretty serious. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yeah, that's definitely pretty serious. So at that point that's that's nuts. Yeah. Um so please guys, be careful what you guys are posting on social media, who you guys are talking to on social media, because I mean yeah, that's probably I mean, how they connected. Yeah, I mean, she probably right? I mean, yeah, if you're like, oh if you're the whole if you're posting, I mean, I'm not saying don't do it, but just be more aware yeah. of who you're Or be you aware who you're talking with. to. Or yes, what I'm over up. here at this time doing this yeah. and blah, blah, blah every yeah. single day. Yeah. I'm eight months pregnant. I'm living at home alone. Yeah. And then this girl just, I don't know. I don't know what the thing Unbelievable. Is. That's bad. That's a bad situation. So uh, prayers out to her and the, family. And, that, and the baby, the baby didn't, didn't, uh, the yeah. baby didn't live. The oh, baby did not did, live? The baby did not live. Wow. Yeah. The baby, so that's a double know, murder, man. Wow. I guess the baby was alive at first or whatever trooper pulled her over wow. and then they brought the baby to the hospital and the baby was pronounced dead there so oh, man that's crazy yeah, not a good situation all right so your question fiber 911 was was 
does this in, does this combo include testosterone? So no, Hercules potion is just amino acids. There's no hormones in it. You don't no need blood a, work. No yeah. blood work needed, like Drew said. Um, so at that point, you guys just fill out the new patient paperwork. You'll see our medical provider via telemedicine or an office, and you can order that. Hormones, you're going to need, like testosterone, you're going to need a blood test. Um, beforehand, we can set that all up. Nationwide service. All you guys got to do is call or text 727-389-3220. We'll be able to walk you through the steps, get you set up, and take care of everything fully. All for you guys, all right? Full service. All right, I'm 45, already taking prescription tests. How would that affect starting with you guys? So this is a really good question, and it's a really easy, simple process to do. If you're taking legally prescribed testosterone, all you have to do is you would need labs within 60 days, the labs that we need, so you can call and check with us, fill out the new patient paperwork. You do not need to get off your testosterone replacement therapy. Um, we're just going to take over care, continue care, and do what we want to do at that point. But we know that testosterone might be up in your body because you're taking it legally. Mm. So at that point, you guys can switch over nice and easy Hulk Squad. It's real simple. Um, you know, if you have the labs, we can use those. If not, we can set you up with labs, get them done real quick, get you in, get you all taken care of, and convert you over so you guys can switch. Another thing is, is if you guys are on testosterone replacement therapy with some other clinic or whatever it is, you guys can still get Hercules Potion or ECAs. You don't have to be on HRT with us yeah. uh, or get blood work or anything like that to get these different therapies. So if you're good where you're at, I totally understand. You know, I'm not the type of, oh, you got to do everything with us. Mm. But at that point, you guys can come over here and see at least our service, right. how we treat our patients, and then that might just, you know, you might change your mind a little bit of where you're at, what you're mm. doing, and reevaluate. And you might become a full Titan at that point. Yeah. But if not, you guys can use some of our therapies. Or if you guys don't want to use any of our therapies, you guys just want to wear the clothes, Hey, that's support too. I love Show that. the Titan love. We love Titan love. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. All right. Any other questions before we go on to our next one? Going on. I see Golden Arches coming up. Oh, so. man. So this, Golden one, this is pretty Arches crazy. Golden Arches are coming up. All right. So if you're using tests without a prescription, what we would do is, is we, we can set you up. Um, Android, call in, um, to, and the staff will walk you through that process. It's real simple and easy to do that too, Okay. All right, so next one. The Golden Arches. McDonald's cover-up with Travis Scott and Jay Belvin meals. So this was a little controversy. I started reading about this, and more and more information is coming out. So yeah. basically they said that there's people out there, and these are franchise owners, I guess, and then employees that I guess have worked for McDonald's, mm. that um, basically that the reason why uh, McDonald's did these deals with Travis Scott and Jay Belvin yeah. was because they had – uh, racial issues yeah. uh, specifically or lawsuits that could be coming out in the future so at this point this is kind of like you know well, we're doing this so we're it's not racist yeah so it's kind of like one of them situations someone calls out some guy from being racist and yeah. now he posts a bunch of pics with all right. his black friends or, right 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 right, right. Uh, so who knows I, I mean, mean he's eating though literally yeah, eating no, McDonald's and eating money wise off yeah, stuff. so I mean yeah. they can if they're, but regardless of what the situation was with McDonald's, if Travis Scott, if he finds out about this now, yeah. I mean, he's still getting his pay. Oh, he's, they're banking. Like, me, That's yeah. what I'm saying. I mean, we talked about it. they made a significant it. increase. If you read up this, Absolutely. Like, they made, ever since he's done that, like, the, the hip-hop community of McDonald's is, like, skyrocketing. Absolutely. People that would normally not even do it. So. Absolutely. It's, it's just like any shoe brand or any other uh, yeah. brand that you associate with, like, you know, like Kanye or Travis or yeah. anybody it is where... These guys are marketing tools, basically. Yeah. And at that point, listen, it is what it is. He's getting paid. Your Belvin's going to get paid off his meal and stuff like that. So, you know, maybe, I don't know. I don't even, I can't see, I don't really know what the details are with the whole discrimination thing. I'm going to have to look into that to see what that is. Yeah. But I don't really think it's going to be that big of a deal. Even, I, I, even I, I, me hearing about it, I'm not like, oh, I don't want to, you yeah. know, not ever go to McDonald's or tell people not to go because of that. I mean, I don't look at it. I don't know. Yeah, McDonald's ongoing discrimination issues. I'd yeah. have to see, like, what it was. Allegedly black, brown consumers over the years while simultaneously sabotaging workers of color. So, yeah, I did read the article and stuff like that. Like I said, so there were some black franchise owners that brought up some some problems, some issues with corporate. Um, and there were some employees. Like, one employee just got fired. I guess the manager was like, well, you're ghetto, you're fired, or something. Yeah, you're yeah, something yeah, like that. yeah, so, yeah. You know, and, you know, it is what it is. It, but the manager should be fired. The manager, yeah, The manager should be sure. fired for saying that. For That's sure. the right there. Saying I mean, you know, it, you should definitely, it's, there's <laughs> yeah. there's professionalism. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And this is this is something that I didn't have on the list today, but I'm going to bring up today because it, it did affect me today. Yeah. So professionalism. Now, let, let's just bring it into light. If you own a company, or you're going to own a company, I'll give you some good advice. Professionalism goes one hundred percent, and that's for you representing your brand and professionalism with consumers when you're out in public, whatever you're doing, even brand ambassadors, okay, or, or athletes or whatever they may be. 
Um, so when you go on and, and you're not professional, it, it shows in a light it, it, that, listen, this, this person's like this, and, and people see things in different yeah. ways. So some people might think it's real cool, right? And, and other people might think this is, this is not professional. I'd never do business with this person ever. Yeah. And usually professionalism, usually you don't knock competition. You're like, you know, I, I don't talk bad about other people like that. You know, that's one thing. Or um, putting out just putting out stuff. Like I seen mm-hmm. stuff today that I, literally I had to like call somebody up to them. Like, listen, this is not professional. And they're like, mm-hmm. well, this is my company. I'm like, well, you know, if you're a brand ambassador of my company, this is not what I want somebody to think about my company. Right. Okay. So at that point, you know, and when you start looking at that light, like, yeah, like this is a representation of us. And it doesn't matter if you're working in here or you're out at Bush Gardens yeah. and you're acting a fool, right? If somebody associates you with a brand or you with your company, they're yeah. going to think of you like that. In the company. Especially a lot of these athletes, too, in the fitness industry. For sure. Um, even even going up to Mr. Olympia, big shows like that. I mean, if you're if you're a wild, if you're just wild and out there and this and that, you think that they're gonna allow you to win the Miss Olymp- Mr. No, Olympia no. or Miss Olympia? Uh, I'm not not saying that there's anybody out there like that, but I mean, if you're owner of a company, you're gonna you're gonna take on somebody. It's like it's almost it's like a liability. Like, oh God, Absolutely. what's he gonna do? Absolutely. You know, if, if you if you're driving around a, a company truck and it has the logo on it, you know, and you're kind of. Eh, it, it all goes back into that one person. So, I mean, I, I mean, gotta, people gotta people will get like this, Drew, because I've, I've dealt with it now. So, people will not. Talk. I've had to bite, not to cut them off, but yeah, I have no, to. No, I've ahead. had to bite my tongue many of times wearing this. But when I got this tighten on me, I'm, I, you know, I'm. <laughs> this tighten is strong for me. So, Absolutely. I mean, I'm not going to take it back to 10 years ago wanting to lay someone on the floor because of. <laughs> because, no, I mean, I'm just being real. No, like, for sure. Being, I appreciate 15, it. You know, 20, 10, 20 years, you know. But I mean, after a while, it's like you got to look at what what is what is the what are you going to lose out of yeah. you know what are you going to lose out of you know look at this look at this girl she went down and tried to cut a baby out of someone and this and that I mean that's extreme but you're going to lose a lot of it out of it. you can't just kill, get wild and a lot of times too is these athletes and I'm not calling specific people out at all like this is literally not at all a lot of these athletes they don't look at the environment they're going into what is the possibility of what could happen mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. i mean if if you're an alcoholic don't go to the bar type thing mm-hmm. you know so it, not 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 even saying the alcohol thing but put it's yourself like, in bad position yeah positions. don't put yourself in a bad position for I mean, sure. i was i was home for 7 years and didn't go out anywhere and did, all i would was go to the gym go to the grocery store and go home <laughs> cuz that's what i had to do not only because that's what i had to do because I don't want to put myself in positions where everyone's getting in trouble, this and that, Absolutely. and all this drama and all this stuff. I'm like, I'd rather just go to work, go home, go to work, go home. And that's what I did. And it's the same thing like now. It's like that professionalism is huge. And I see a lot of these athletes, a lot of these athletes could really do something with their physiques, with their knowledge, with a lot of the stuff they have, but they just don't have it upstairs or they're too much of a liability. And next thing you know, a company takes them on. Then, you know, the mm-hmm. next thing you know, they're getting, they're in the newspaper for some fight at a bar or a domestic thing or shoplifting or something crazy and then it's like wow you know it happens all the time man <laughs> that's why i don't go anywhere the only time you guys have seen me go anywhere is titan stuff or withdrawing right. titan stuff that's right before that when did you guys ever see me go anywhere it wasn't because i didn't want to go it's because i want to obviously stay home and get to the gym in the morning to work on my body but the to not put myself in that. Right. When I was a bouncer in those clubs all those years, it was crazy. <laughs> like, it was literally crazy. And this isn't like regular clubs. I'm talking about grimy, dirt, hood clubs, people getting shot at. It was crazy. So after a while, it's like, I'm going to stay home, work on myself. Did that for seven years and did what I had to do to build my brand up and build myself That's up right. and do what I have to do now. But now I don't really put myself in situations like that because I don't want to. Don't need to. Don't need to. Don't, don't need, need to, to, man. Don't need to. And you are a great representation of Titan. And, and Drew has came to me. And, and we always have situations that come up. Mm. And he's handled it very, very professional. So um, I got to give that to him. But that, it's just a big thing. So definitely, you know, whatever you're posting on your social media or whatever. Yeah. And it's just my social media. You understand there's going to be different people out there that are going to see those things and, and critique them or look at them in a different light. Yeah. And if you're in business, it could definitely affect your business. And one thing I'll tell you, like the one guy around here, LaFranco, when he put up that the, the racial stuff, mm-hmm. this guy had four different restaurants, a nightclub, and lost everything. Mm-hmm. You know, stupid things that you don't think about that you're going to put on there or put out to people. Um, are going to come back and bite you in the ass. Yeah. So it is what it is. And then if, if, people, if, if, a, like if I'm in business, right, and a patient complains or a patient has a problem, we take care of a patient. You don't put them on blast. Yeah. 
Yeah. Start putting people on blast. It doesn't look good professionalized. Like, are you going to be next if you think you're doing the patient and something mm -hmm. goes wrong? Yeah. You know, so at that point, it is what it is. But it, I just I just wanted to bring that up. Sorry. A little personal little thing I had this morning that I had to deal with. So <laughs> just remember that. So if you guys ever think you guys want to become a type medical center athlete or you think you're going to be an ambassador for me, know that 24-7 that you are underneath Titan. And if you mess up or doing something stupid, then I'm going to hear about it. It's going to come back and it's going to be no more. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so cannibal murdered girlfriend ate body parts in jail for life. Jail for yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drew loves his baby. Crazy day. <laughs> well, this is the crazy day we got. Woo. How do we go? How do we go from that Woo. to this? We go from cutting a baby out to McDonald's to professionalism, and now we're talking about eating whoop. babies. Okay, this a guy basically killed a girl. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, basically wow. what it is. They went to a guy's house. He killed the girl. They found body parts. Um, I guess it was his ex-girlfriend or whatever. Yikes. They found a skull. They found tongs, like where he was actually like Yikes. using the body parts to cook them or whatever. They found like bloody tongs or something. Oh. Um, he ate the uh, the organs. Oh my! He ate God. some of the organs. He said he ate some of the organs cooked, some of them raw. I mean, the article wasn't really long because basically just it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, guy Pretty just straightforward. Yeah. Jeez, oh, six year old woman was watch found out. There's a whole bunch of crazy people out there. Jeffrey Dahmer type of situation where people are mm -hmm. eating people. Man, this is just crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, you guys listen. That, you I guys can get your protein other ways. All yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is I think that's a love go to hate situation. Like if I, you, if you look at like the most heinous crimes, those when love turns to hate. Yeah. That's where Passion that's crimes. where you see like guys shot in the face fifty times, like yeah. fifty times. Okay, yeah. he was dead after the first one. Like yeah. that's yeah. when love goes to hate. But yeah. that. That's a little bit of, I don't know. That's crazy. I think that's a little bit of everything. That's, that's definitely, that's definitely extreme, for Love sure. Hey, Jeffrey Dahmer. Definitely, definitely extreme. Um, all right, so if you guys didn't know, today is iPhone 12 drop pre-order day. I don't know about you guys, but I was really pumped about iPhone this today. This is an Apple legend. I, I love Apple, Apple products. Apple legend. Uh, we use Apple products, like if you guys seen behind, like behind the scenes here. It's like tablets and, and Macs and, and iPhones. We use it for our cameras. We got nice DSLR cameras, Sony, mirrorless, but we'd rather shoot with our iPhones. Now, so they shoot the quality to edit it right on it. It's just amazing. Um, so at that point, it, they came out, uh, the pre-order came out at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 5 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, and I think you guys can still probably get one if you guys want. Now, the big thing about this, that, that, that I, I'm like, well, why did you do this, Apple? It was kind of messed up. So when you buy the Apple iPhone, before it came with a charger and AirPods. This one does not come with a charger or AirPods. Yeah. So you're gonna pull a phone out of the box and you better have a charger with it. The thing with this is like when I first heard about it, <laughs> no, when I first heard about it, I was like, yeah, no, when I first heard about it, I was like, it's kind of crazy, but it's the same charge that everyone uses anyways. What if this is your first iPhone? If it's your first iPhone, they're probably going to, in the store, throw one in for free. Nope. No? Nope. They might. Nope. I don't know. Nope. Nope. But the thing is, it's 10 bucks now. No, no, no. They're not 10 bucks. It's $10 off of the original price. Which is, how much is it, 20 I mean, it's probably like 25 30 bucks. I don't know. The thing AirPods is, are going to be probably like, The thing what, is, I already have, bucks? I already have, I've been, I've had Apple products, so I already have the charger. But the thing is, is if I didn't, like right now, my mindset going into buying it, I would just pay the extra 20 and just get the charger and then have it from now For on. For sure. Yeah, so I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's, it's a big it's, deal. It's not a big deal. It's, it's the, uh, they got poked at by Galaxy. So Samsung is like one of the biggest competitors to iPhone, right? They've had lawsuits against each other uh, for copyright issues, infringement, and trademarks, and all these other different things. So um, basically, Galaxy po uh, poked at them today. They said, you know, they had their phone and they had a picture of the charger. It said included with phone. <laughs> yeah, so at that yeah, point, yeah. they're like poking fun. I mean, you know, it is what it is. And if you have an iPhone from before with with the lightning, you, yeah. you can definitely charge. So if that is going to be weird, though. Right? Open it up and just, that's it's it. It's just a phone. That's it. Right? It's that's just, it. it's kind of crazy. Now, the AirPods, I, I can understand. Mm. But the charger, you got to charge it. It's like anything else. You buy a, yeah, a computer, you're going to get a charger with it. You buy, you know, this, you know, just to make it function. What I think they should have done is just uh, left the, just keep the wire, but the, the wall outlet part out. Yeah. Because the wall outlet part is the part that, I mean, everybody has anyways. Right. It could be Android. Or, so even if you're switching over Android to That's Apple, they could have kept that. They could have kept the wire. You would have had a wire. You could plug that into your car ever. So everything is good so with the wire. They even changed that. And the, the 
you know, if you guys are tech guys or you guys know about your iPhones and stuff like that. So it has a lightning, which goes into the charging basis of the phone right now on an 11. 12 is going to be the exact same way. On the other end, instead of a bigger USB, it has a USB-C, which is a smaller cable. And most of things, like even the Apple products now, like MacBook Airs and stuff like that, or MacBook Pros, all have USB-C ports in them. So not the big USB port, but the USB-C. And originally, Apple was talking about them going to the charger like that, which every other phone has done. Mm. Um, it's just a faster way. It's supposed to be more secure and the whole nine. But they haven't changed it over. So you guys will be okay with your old chargers. But I'm really anxious to get this iPhone. So as soon as I get one, we'll unbox one out here and we'll, we'll see what it has in it and check it out. And you guys can check it out for yourselves. Hopefully, I should have them in a week or two. It's going to have a phone only in it. It's what's going to have Phone only? <laughs> maybe, some, we'll maybe some stickers? It. That's it. <laughs> Phone, pamphlet, and that little Apple sticker that they always send. Yeah, the Apple sticker, for sure. So we'll see. So going into iPhones, we were talking about iPhones. Hopefully you guys get your pre-orders in. We finally got more research on COVID and how long COVID stays on surfaces. Specifically, iPhones are non-porous surfaces like glass, plastics, and stuff like that. So basically, COVID stays on, let's say, your phone, uh, the face of it, for 28 days. 28 days it can survive. Um, which is 11 days longer than influenza will survive on your phone. Now, the, the big thing after that was, was now I thought, you know, UV light can help kill it. Well, 28 days was at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And when they brought up to like 86 degrees Fahrenheit, I think it was a little less time as, as far as the days that it stayed on there because it actually started killing off some of the, the virus. So I don't know, man. It's just crazy, you know, because we touch things and like yeah. touch other things. Phones is probably the dirtiest, dirtiest thing, dirtiest. Because you touch it all day. Like Cook you don't just face. touch it once. You put, you set it down on a table. You set it down. I see people setting their phones on the gym floor or this and that. Well, like, just think about it. You like touch something. You like touch your screen. Like text. I, you know, I don't even think about it sometimes. And then yeah. I'm like, oh. Damn, what did I just do? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like I'll shake someone's hand. Like, you don't know how. I, I do a nice meet. Let me get your phone number. And it's like, you just put their germs right into your phone yeah. and right onto your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me take this. Ah! <laughs> so just be, be careful uh, about what you guys are doing. And um, you try to constantly cleanse your, your screen. Maybe like a foam foam sanitizer wipes or something like so that. So they've they've got like I mean, they have like the box. They have got the like box. Like a quicker thing. one. One that you could just have like you know. They've got wipes. Oops. Yeah, wipes. I mean, any type of sanitizer like, wipe will probably work. Huh? You might miss something with a wipe though. Maybe like a little what are they, clava, the clay or whatever they call. Yeah. You could throw in that and then your phone would get like steamed or something. Yeah. Well, they have like the, the box, box. So we have a UV box that will clean the phones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the big thing, but you know, you can have a mobile one they can put in your car, I guess. But mm. when you're on the go, it's a little harder. Yeah. What, I mean, what I do, you know, specifically is, and I'm not telling you guys to do this by any means, but I just pour a little hand sanitizer on my hand. And I try to wipe the screen. Yeah. And at least you're getting a majority of it if you are, you know. Yeah. It, I just alcohol it down. Like, yeah. Rubbing alcohol. Like, That's a good one I too. Just hit it with the paper towel and just like take the take my case off and just wipe everything with the 91 alcohol. Like yep. the, Strong, strong one. You guys yeah, do that at your own risk. Out. We don't want to wreck your iPhone, so just in case yeah, it does, it's, yeah, you do it strong. at your own risk. <laughs> it's, it's strong. It's, you're probably not. Good to oh, do uh, the way I look at it is if it damages the phone a little bit, like the, something that I can't tell, yeah, it prevents me from being sick. Oh, it's good as yeah, opposed okay. to using, you know, Windex because it's made for glass. And it's I not would, even killing anything. No, I wouldn't use Windex yeah. at all. No, it's definitely not for sure. It's good for a picture. That's about it. Yep. So uh, next one was. This 11-year-old just stole the school bus the other day. And the police, yeah. I, it was like a 30 or 45-minute run, 45-minute chase. Yeah, kid in Louisiana, 11-year-old <laughs> 11 year old kid. And listen to this. Did you read the article? I read listen it. Listen to this. This kid got, I mean, the kid basically just, he, he stole the school bus from the school, was going on a chase, and the whole time they said he was laughing the whole time when he was doing it. He was flipping the cops off oh and everything. Oh, my God. He was flipping the cops off. And a lot. some people have video. If you go online, you can see video of him coming by with people recording it. The 11-year-old kid. He ended up crashing in a tree. He was fine. The cops got him. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure. But so, uh, he got a bunch of charges for a lot, like, I mean, theft and all that It's stuff. just crazy. Um, it was a good story. It wasn't a good story, but it was funny because no one got hurt. And it's just, like, some crazy thing. Like, he probably playing Grand Theft Auto, and he was just... <laughs> It's, it's dude, crazy. It's nuts. It's, it's nuts. crazy. Yeah, all these games are so. I mean, the fact that he could actually do it. I know. Forty-five I minutes. Dude, I and Jesse Hall Squad, give me one second. We'll answer that as soon as we're done with this topic. Forty-five minutes to drive a huge, like an eleven-year-old. And if you guys see the video, if you look him up, it's not like a big eleven-year-old. The kid looks like 
looks like a nine year old. Really? Like, he's small. So he was probably up there, like, <laughs> driving. And, that's so, crazy. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know if you guys ever tried to drive something as long as a school bus. It is hard yeah. to turn. 45 minutes. Okay? Like, our tight limo. Like, I drove that thing, like, when I first got it. Yeah, you got to, like, you have, no, yeah, It's not even that. You have to, like, to take a turn, you yeah. have to go so wide because, you know, the body doesn't move. Yeah, so you yeah, have this yeah. long, wide body where you just got to turn. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So yeah. for this kid to do this, it's, it's, it's kind of funny, uh, <laughs> you know? Oh, he didn't get hurt, thank God, nobody else, but I mean, pretty serious, and he probably shouldn't have did it, but yeah. it is what it is. They didn't know it was a kid until they got close. They're like, is that a they kid? They the school bus. Like yeah. There's a kid on there. Yeah. <laughs> that right. would have been bad if there was kids on the oh, bus. Oh, for sure. That would have been terrible, because the kids probably would have been cheering them. They don't realize the danger of it. They do it, go, go. go. A whole bus full of kids, that would have been annoying. That would have been, yeah, definitely been messed up for sure. And the, people could have really got hurt in it, so it's pretty serious. All right, how long have you and your, how long have you and your clients been on TRT? What's your oldest patient? Um, uh, how long have I been on TRT? So I've been on uh, HRT for 10 years, uh, maybe going on to 11 here shortly. And then oldest patient here is probably 66, 67. Um, that's about the oldest. Usually we don't take on older patients, um, but that's that's our oldest one. I mean, 60 is getting up there. 67, I know my dad's 66. He's a patient. And there's a couple other people that are patients that are older. So we have a wide variety of different ages of patients. It just really depends on who needs the help, you know? There is an age limit, though. you got to be 21. 21, 21 to do anything with Titan Medical Center, even yeah. Vitamin Minos. Yeah. And I know you're an adult at 18. You can vote in the whole nine, but... At that point, 21 years old is our cutoff. So I'm sorry if you guys are under that. Come back when you're 21. We'll help you guys out. But but a, a good side to that, though, if you're 18 and you want to take it, uh, or 19 or even 20, think if you're 20, you can go hard in the gym, go hard with your everything, get everything right for a year, yeah, yeah. and then as soon as you hit 21, now you can jump on tight and take it to another level. Yep. So that's something you can look forward to, 19, 20-year-olds, like go hard for a year. Absolutely. And then come, come be a part of this tight thing to shred it. Absolutely. I think they're asking how, who is your, like, longest patient that you've had here oh longest that we've had on is patients we've had patients on for nine years mm -hmm. nine years straight I mean, we have i've got patients that have been with us since you know four offices back trinity office so, i mean at that point they've been with me i've got um i've got the first patient ever of type medical center as a patient that's good I, yeah literally yeah, yeah, so that, retention that is... rate is usually about eight eighty eight 85 to 90 percent so nine out of ten people usually stay with titan uh you know the other one or two people that fall off it's usually possibly money you know something happens to them health wise um there, there's something that it takes them out and negates them but other than that yeah so i mean most of our people have been with us literally the whole time um so that's nine years now officially so at that point we we're doing pretty good Knowing in general people who live in healthy lifestyle in terms of fitness and diet are less likely to die and have extreme symptoms of COVID, how would any of your therapies possibly help immune system? All right, so... Glutathione. Yeah, glutathione, uh, thymosin alpha-1, uh, nectar of the gods is a good one, but glutathione is, is the main key in there, so having it straight would be good. Our tri-immune has glutathione, vitamin C, and zinc chloride all in one injection. It's really concentrated. So you're talking about 200 milligrams of vitamin C, 200 milligrams of glutathione, and five milligrams of zinc chloride, all in one little insulin needle injection. So at that point, that would probably be your best bet if you're looking for an immune system booster to really strengthen the immune system. Or you can just go with regular glutathione, um, thymosin alpha one's another one. Titan complete and stuff like that will help too. Anytime you guys oh, get sure. your vitamins and, and everything Absolutely. like that, you know. Well, you want B vitamins, you want all these other yeah. different things too. Any type of vitamins and strengthening them, not any, but for the most part, you know, absolutely, the, the absolutely, complete and the B twelve and all that stuff. Branch chain amino acids consistently over prolonged periods of time will definitely increase your health. Absolutely, one hundred percent. How would I receive living in Memphis? All right, so if you're living in Memphis or anywhere else in the United States, all you guys got to do is call or text seven two seven three eight nine three two two zero. If you're looking for blood work, we can set you up for blood work in your state, city, your area. Um, if you're going to do a visit with us and you want us to be your provider, we can do it via telemedicine. We can do it in an office. Um, the therapies get shipped directly to you guys from the pharmacy. We don't make the therapies here. We don't ship the therapies from the office. So they all get delivered to you. Then we're here for you guys support-wise, 24-7, call, text, email. So at that point, you guys, if you guys have any problems, issues, concerns, you guys can call us and we're going to be here for you. Our medical providers are always 
here at the office. So if there's any problems that do come up and you need to talk to a medical provider, right away you guys will. All right. Um, it's nationwide. Nationwide, nationwide, nationwide service. Nationwide. nationwide service. So, all right. So the events coming up. We got a lot of events coming up. We got Always. some good ones coming up too. It's a good thing when we're busy. Yes. Busy is good. So obviously the next the next two events land on one day this year. Uh, October 31st, so which is Halloween. It's a Saturday. That's going to be a crazy day. It's going to be a crazy day. That's going to be an ECA. It's going to be a double ECA my, day for me. Yeah, I think guaranteed. I'm going to do one ECA at 8 in the morning, one ECA at 8 at night. Yeah. That's how I do. I space it out 12 hours. Yes, yes. That way I'm good all the way because it's going to be a long day, long night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know, I really take two ECAs during a day, but if it's something like this, I'm definitely going to do it. So we have the Mid-Florida Classic presented by Titan Medical Center. Deke Warner's putting that on in Orlando, Florida. Um, this is our second year doing this. Yeah, second year. Um, yeah, quick. Third year, second, third, third year doing this. Third year. Wow, it, it's been that long. All right, so we have this down there, Mid Florida Classic Deke. We're gonna put this on. We're gonna be there in the morning, and then we'll be there for part of the the night show. Yeah. Um, and then we have to book off back to Tampa, where we have the Vampires Ball at the Cuban Club. Um, that's put on by Pied Piper, and we're a title sponsor of that, Type Medical Center. Our good friend, Joe Castellano, who's a good plastic surgeon, is going to be there and supporting sponsor, too, as well. Um, so it's going to be a great time. We're going to be dressed up. we got our costumes coming. Yeah, it's going to be. We, we, it's yeah, going to be I'm, good. I'm dressing up. I'm dressing oh, up. Oh, yeah. We used to get Drew dressed up. It's going to be awesome. I dressed up in... I can't remember the last time I dressed up, but hey. Well, we always have a good time. And if you guys good. see any of the videos and pictures of last year, we always have a ball. We dress up. Costume going to be on point. Um, it's going to be a costume contest there. We're going to judge it. Titan yeah. Medical Center is. So we're going to be having a good time. So if you guys are in the Tampa area and you guys aren't doing anything for Halloween or you want to do something after taking the kids out, trick-or-treating and stuff like that, come hang out with us. We'll be there. Vampire's Ball because 2020 sucked. That was a good tagline when they made up. That was pretty the good. What? They said uh, Vampire's Ball because 2020 sucked. Yeah, that's exactly. pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. So, um, big shout out to Pied Piper, Corey, and all those those people over there. We appreciate it. We're looking forward to another huge one. And we did last year too. Uh, we had Jeremy Piven, who was on, um, mm. who was Ari Gold, on uh, Entourage. He oh, was there. Is... Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Also, at the Mid-Florida, guys, a Halloween costume uh, contest oh, yeah, before right. the show happens. So, I think it's like 5 or 5, three, right before the night show. Yeah. So, check it out. Go online or check, I mean, yeah. figure out exactly when it is or when the, when, I'm not sure exactly what the prizes are or anything like that. We'll let you guys know. I'll get some more yeah. information. We still got a couple of weeks to do that. A, but there is a costume contest. Yes. At the yes. Mid-Florida before it happens. Yes. If you want to come get dressed up, go to the show. Yep. Check out the costume contest. And Even if you don't want to dress up, come yeah. watch the costume contest yeah. or whatever. Bring the kid. It'll be fun. Know. And then check out the show. It's going to yeah, be a be good fun. night in Orlando and then back here in Tampa. Back to Tampa. We'll be yeah. having plenty of Titan gear for you guys. We've got some cool Titan masks. You want to bring those oh, out, yeah, the pink yeah. and black ones? Yes. So, we, yeah. so we got the we got masks that we're giving away. Now, listen, if you guys right. got to wear a mask, you might as well look good in wearing a mask. So we've got all different colors. we got these brand new colors in. So pink, you know, it's breast cancer awareness. I think people have forgot Damn about old. pink. Um, because and breast cancer awareness because of COVID, so it's still out there and it's it's still affecting a lot of people. Okay, so at that point, we want to support them. So pink, we got black, we got camo, we've got navy blue, we've got gray, we've got purple for girls too. So at that point, if you guys gotta wear, we're gonna give away a, a couple free ones. We'll give away, I guess, two today right now on our show. Sure. Um, and Some then pink ones for breast cancer. Pink or black, guys. Or you black? guys can okay. you guys can take your pick. I'll let you guys choose because you guys gotta wear it. Um, and at that point, if you guys don't want to wear it, uh, if you guys come to the show, we'll have some shirts, some Titan gear for you guys to pick up too as well. So let's uh, let's talk about the next one. Cars and Core Tour is on 11-14. So November 14th, Cars and Core Tour, and it's a, a charity benefit for autism. Uh, it's a great Gatsby theme. So 20s, Warren theme. Uh, we've been a title sponsor of that for years now too. Put on by Donna Crowley. That's going to be awesome. Uh, exotic cars, fashion show, Beautiful mansion set up. Nice. It's gonna be a great time. So we've been it's with. It's like a, what's the theme? Like an older theme, right? Yeah, Great Gatsby. So 1920s. I might have to break out some yep. creepers or something. Oh uh, yeah. Creepers and shoes. Yeah. We're gonna see dressed up. Drew dressed up in all kinds of cool costumes. Yeah, you guys, cool. this is gonna be awesome. So yeah. So Carson Couture is always a great event. You know, great events the last two years we've been there. So third year here, it's gonna be exciting. I'm pumped. Definitely pumped. Um, next one after that, Festival of Speed. 
More January cars. 10th. More cars. Yep, January 10th. And that one's actually in St. Pete, so that one's always a great show. They have it down here in St. Pete. At, um, at, the bar, at the park, right? Yep. Vinoid yep, yeah, Park. Vinoid Park Vinoid is where park. it usually is held at. So it's going to be a great time. Like I said, a lot of people come out to that one, especially. Um, the 24th of January, so two weeks later, we're in Orlando for Festival of Speed Orlando, and that's held at the Ritz-Carlton. So that one's a big event. I know, man. Orlando's becoming yeah. like a second home. For it Titan, is. Titan it is. Stuff. You know, I was telling Sharice, I was like, we got to open an office out in Orlando, man. Orlando's... It's a headquarters, you know? I mean, have one maybe out there, too. You never know where Titan's going to be popping up. Central Florida is, like, booming right now. I mean, even though we can we can service nationwide, you know, the way we do, like, it's always good to have brick and mortars. So, at that yeah. point, we might look at that. I've already talked to about Orlando, possibly, because of all the events and all the stuff that we already mm -hmm. do out there. Yeah. So, we'll see. But if you guys are out in Orlando, come check us out at those events. We're going to be there. Um, all right, guys. If you guys want to win the mask, we're going to give away the mask. All right, so you can pick black. a pink one. We've got black. We've got navy blue. We've got gray. They're awesome. They're good protection. They got a little filter in there for you. So at that point, you guys are going to have some sort of protection. It's not medical grade, so it's not an N95, but it does have a respirator and stuff like that. So your face doesn't get hot or you don't fog up your glasses. All right, guys. So if you guys want to win the mask, um, or if you don't want the mask, I'll even give you a t shirt. Or I might give you both. Who knows? I right, guys, I want you to text Titan Strong. Hashtag Titan Strong. Text that to the main number, 727-389-3220. Hashtag Titan Strong, and we'll give away two packages of the mask and a shirt or a mask and a tank top if it's a girl or whatever it is. All right, guys, we want to give something away for you guys. Yeah. And we're going to have some good giveaways coming up very soon, too. Blood tests. Great to give. It's yes. Great to give. Want to give away some stuff. Christmas is coming soon. Holidays are coming. And we are all about that life here at Titan. So we're going to start giving away and having some, some good discounts for you guys. Get you guys ready for a new year. 2021 is almost here. 2021 is here. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this whole COVID thing. If they're going to shut it down again or open it back up again. But, hey. We'll see. I have a good feeling about 2021 for some reason. Me too. I have a good Me feeling. too. So Usually hopefully. when something really, really bad happens, it's because of, people say it's for a reason. I don't really think it's for a reason. But usually it's like a, a positive rebound effect. Yeah. So I'm just looking, keeping it positive. So we shall see how it goes on. Yeah. You guys, if you guys are on Facebook, please share this. Instagram, tag people, at, all right? YouTube, guys, make sure you guys are hitting that all notification button, the subscribe button, the little bell, so you guys are getting all the updates. For all our new Titan Lifestyles with Big Drew, along with all our great content out there. If you guys think this is great content, please share this with somebody, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. Anything else, Drew? That's it. Check out the podcast. Check out Titan Talk on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Uh, the Titan Lifestyle Show yep. on Sunday at 11 a.m. Yep. And also check out us back here next Friday. Titan Lifestyle with me, Big Drew, and John at 2 p.m. Yep. Awesome. Uh, one more question before we leave. All right, David Conquest, what's your best product for joint support? So joint support really depends uh, now what's going on. Now, inflammation causes a lot of problems with joints. Glutathione is going to be a good one for that, or um, BPC-157, TB-500. That's it's a pretty good one, too. That's what I've been using. It's yeah, working for sure. real good on my elbow. I, I mean, I use it. Real you know, good. Rachel Daniels uses it, who's another IBB pro. You know, as far as that goes, a lot of people use it as far as patients. So that could be a big help upper chest inflammation so yeah definitely you're going to want to you know you're going to want to try to take that inflammation out bbc 157 tb 500 are going to be great for inflammation too as well yeah this this morning I, we saw rachel at the gym this morning she yeah. was saying that like he, when he was asking about the injuries or any type yeah. of pain she was like yeah they're gone so i mean i mine are slowly going away too yeah. but a big big difference yeah. guys like you i, I used to always hear people say about tb 500 and cjc and this and that. i don't want to yeah. get too long we're about yeah. to wrap it up but I always used to hear about it, and it's like, you know, you hear about this and that. If you're consistent with it, you start taking it, it's like one of those things where yeah. when you stop it is when you realize the problem. <laughs> this is true. It's when you realize there's this a problem, you stop it. Like, this is true. I feel great. Everything's almost back to normal. I just don't want to pop anything. And, yeah. yeah. Be safe. Don't get injured. So if you guys are feeling better, that doesn't mean go at full 100% blast on, on what you're doing it's not a numbing agent either. no it's not going to numb the problem it's no. going to fix it exactly and it takes some time too your body doesn't heal overnight so Hawks by bbc 157 is the bomb for sure <laughs> all right guys thank you guys for tuning in we'll see you guys next friday 2 p.m titan lifestyle with big drew that's it have a great weekend be safe guys y'all better tighten up